Hi folks, guys from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, here's an updated tutorial on how to run a Verizon custom ROMs, uh, specifically Verizon TouchWiz ROMs on your Sprint phone. Um, this will work on the Galaxy S5, which I've got Verizon S5 ROM running uh, with everything working, voice, 3G, 4G data, SMS, MMS, uh, sending and receiving. Um, so this is a complete guide and also will work uh, if you want to install Verizon Note 3 ROMs on your Sprint Note 3. Uh, also, it will work for Galaxy S4. It will not work for Note 2 because the Note Sprint Note 2 has a um, you know entirely different uh, data structure which messes everything up. Uh, but it will work also work on Galaxy S3. So we'll work on S5, S4, S3, Note 3. Um, so let's let me show you how to do this. Let's go do this, baby. Hi right, folks, so let me go ahead and show you how to uh, install Verizon custom ROMs on your Sprint phone and also get everything working including uh, 3G, 4G data, uh, voice, SMS, uh, receiving, sending, MMS, receiving and sending. Um, so this is an updated tutorial from my previous one. For this example, I'm going to use my Sprint Galaxy S5. So the first thing you'll need to do is obviously root your Sprint Galaxy S5 and go ahead and install um, Verizon Galaxy S5 custom ROM. If you're using, uh, this will work on other Galaxy phones like Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3. Um, it will not work with Galaxy Note 2 uh, because the way Sprint Note 2 is different from all the other variants. Um, so we'll work on those variants. Um, so make sure you install the correct ROM, Verizon Note 3 ROM for Sprint Note 3. Um, you know, Verizon S4 ROM for Sprint S4 uh, and et cetera, et cetera. So I've got uh, Verizon Alliance ROM installed on my Sprint Galaxy S5. Now you don't need any custom kernels or anything like that. In my first tutorial, I told you, but I actually found out you can just install the Verizon kernel. It's fully compatible. Um, so I've got it installed and I've got it booted here. Once you got it booted, I'm going to go ahead and click next, next, and I'm going to go ahead and skip here. It might say no network connection, obviously, because I have a Sprint SIM card in there. Um, you can go ahead and uh, just use uh, Wi-Fi to do this. Ah. Just skip everything if you can. There we go. Just leave setup. All right. Uh, and uh, once you have booted up here, you get this uh, 4G LT, but it's actually using Verizon's and it's not activated. So if you actually try to use the internet, um, you'll probably not get anything, which sucks. All right, so here's how to do it. First thing you'll need to do is basically enter the Sprint APN. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into settings, um, more networks, go to mobile network, go to uh, make sure network mode, mode is set to LTE, CDMA, um, not GSM, UMTS, or global. And then go to access point names. Um, you'll see that it's been defaulted to uh, Verizon. Go ahead and uh, hit the plus key. You can name this anything you want. I mean, literally anything you want. You don't have to type that, but anything you want. Uh, and I do have a Sprint APN you got to type. Uh, the basics you got to type is the APN here, uh, n.ispsn. All right. And also, if you want to receive MMS messages, um, you'll want to type uh, HTTP. I'll have all of this. You can copy and paste. Not copy and paste, but read and um, type from it, mms.sprintpcs.com, like that. All right, and also multimedia messaging proxy. Um, some of the wording might be different depending on which uh, phone you use, but it should be similar and you should be able to identify which one goes where. Um, for this, type 68.28.31.7. All right, and multimedia messaging port, this is gonna be 80. All right, and make sure MCC is set to 310, um, usually defaults to it. MNC is to 120. That's all you really need to do um, to get data, 4G LTE, everything working. There we go, you'll see that 4G LTE uh, lit up right there, and you'll see that my internet now works just fine. All right, and also my phone calls uh, should be working just fine. I should get uh, 411 Sprint if I get this. That means it's working just fine. Welcome to 
All right, next I'm going to go ahead and send uh, an MMS message uh, from my other phone here. And that way I can prove you to that it's working. And I'm just going to write HHHH four times. And there we go. I've got a message here. It says HHHH. Um, also, I can go ahead and reply back. Let me see GGGG. All right, on my other phone, you'll get uh, GGG there. All right, and let me go ahead and send an SMS message from my other camera here. And I'm gonna go ahead and send a photo, MMS. So you'll be able to receive MMS messages also. I'll give it a second here. Um, one thing I found out is that with Verizon Custom ROMs, when you try to send MMS, it will not work. Um, so there is a, qu a quick work away around this. So there you go. So I've got S MMS received here. And ah, where is it? All right, there we go. So I've got the mes message. Let me go ahead and try to send an image. And uh, here is where it becomes the problem. But we can solve it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send it. And I'll get this error that uh, Sprint service not working. Now this is the limitation of the Verizon custom ROMs, but there's a simple workaway around it uh, by using an app. And give it a second here, and you'll see that it will not send. Ah, it's taking forever. There we go. Service not activated on network. That sucks. All right, there's an easy fix for this. To fix this, um, you simply need to use a different um, SMS app. Uh, the default SMS app with the Verizon ROMs uh, are just not compatible for sending uh, MMS. So grab the 8 SMS app here. And also, many of the other uh, SMS apps should work also. Uh, but the 8 SMS app is pretty good. And, um, you know, I've used it and it works just fine. And that one actually, um, one of my users pointed out, Kvel Les uh, from HighOnAndroid.com. Thanks, thanks to your suggestion. Um, but this is the only way I could make uh, the MMS sending work. So once that's installed, go ahead and open it. And you know, this is a pretty good app. And then go ahead and hit this key here, or hit the menu button, and go into settings. And make sure you enable SMS here and change this to the default uh, SMS app. Say yes. And then go into uh, MMS here and MMS settings. And you probably don't have to do anything. So, so that's it. Just activate it. And I'm going to go ahead and resend uh, one of my messages here. So let me go ahead and attach picture. All right. I'm going to go ahead and attach this picture. Let me go ahead and send it now, and hopefully this time it will work. Uh, yes, it should work. There we go, it did send, no errors. And give it another five seconds, and uh, you got everything working, uh, including uh, sending, receiving, all that good stuff. So now you should be able to use Verizon ROMs on your Sprint phones uh, flawlessly. There we go, so I just got it uh, working great. And that's how you can run Verizon ROMs on your Sprint uh, phones, and this again, this will work on S5, Note 3, uh, S4, not Note 2, also S3, and uh, you know you can use the similar methods to maybe um, run Sprint or Verizon phones, or you know on a Boost and uh, Virgin Mobile. But that's out of this, um, you know, that's kind of out of this tutorial. Maybe I'll have another tutorial because I don't have a Verizon uh, Virgin Mobile or Boost Mobile, but I'll try to get those lines in the future may have new tutorials but that's pretty much it and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks guys for watching this video if this video has helped you install verizon custom roms on your galaxy s5 note 3 s4 s3 uh, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, as always stay yeah. on android